Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with the review and swatches of the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette. I do also have a three looks, one palette with this, but I don't know if I'm gonna be doing it in this video because the other video is like 15 minutes long, if not more. So I may split them up. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you my review first and then my swatches next. I did not use every single shade in here, and this is what it looks like when it's opened like that then it has you know mirrors but let me see if i can spin back these mirrors for right now this is the palette and the shades that i have used is absolution rapture um oh my god i don't even know this chalice sacred heart amen crucifix um, did I say Rapture? Yeah, Rapture, Sabbath, Ashes, Mater, Devil, Vestment, Exodus, Exorcism, Relic, and Stigma. Those are all that I have used, so from what I have used, I really enjoy this palette. And I find that it is quite easy to do a colorful eye makeup. I'm usually not very um, good at doing colorful eye makeup, but I found it very, quite easy with this. I just looked, I, you know, I took a few minutes to look at it and decided on what I wanted to do. I don't know if it's just this palette or if I'm getting a little bit better with color eyeshadow. I don't know, but I really did enjoy this and I enjoyed the looks that I got out of it. I will say, the very first time using it, I used uh, vestment and chalice and I did not use like a base for them and I did not like it I was not happy with with how it looked but um, since I like I did my three looks one palette I did use a base and I absolutely love them now so and I usually do use bases for my um, shimmer shades and I just, I don't know why I didn't do it. Maybe I just wanted to try it without it. I don't remember, but I mean, I didn't like it without it, but I do love it whenever I use base, but I usually use base no matter what anyways. But yeah, I regret not getting her two past uh, holiday palettes. So I was not gonna let this one slide through my fingers this year. So I got it, I enjoy it, I love it. And I wish I could still use it, but right now I'm doing like the um, one month, two palettes. And then I have um, two palettes that I am trying to pan. So for that reason, I will put it away. But I hope I do grab it for my roulette, for my one month, two palettes because I enjoyed it. And yeah, I don't know what to say. I like the, I like the mattes. I like the shimmers. I like everything that I've used except for what I, I can't really say what I have not used, but I'm sure I will like them as well. So yeah, I'm um, sorry this is a like a short review. I'm not really good at reviews, but anyways, I will go ahead and swatch them for you. Excuse my nail nails, they are quite bad. I'm gonna start off, let me I might do the, the, oh yeah, this is the saint side, this is the center side. I will start off with the saint side. I'm gonna do uh, four swatches each time. This is Absolution, Worship, Immaculate and Chalice and that's what they look like. Let me see. I may have to Can you see that? Oh my god, those are awful swatches, but anyways, that's what those four look like. Oh, I don't know if you'll be able to hear that, but those are my little um, puppies that we just got on Monday. Today is Thursday. And they are not happy that they are in their cage right now. All right, now I'm gonna go in with Sacred Heart, Amen, Sanctuary, and Heaven. Heaven, oh my God, that is gorgeous. All right, that's what they look like. And let me do it here. Oh gosh, yep, 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 beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now this is Crucifix, Cathedral, that's beautiful too, Rosary, 
and baptism. Oh, those are quite close together, but you get the gist. That is also very, very beautiful. Ooh, wow. Ooh, yeah. I think I dipped too much into Cathedral because I got quite a bit off of that. All right. Now we are going on. Sorry, I'm just wiping off my hand with a wipe. Now we are going into the center side. This is a Rapture. Sabbath, Ashes, and Mater. That's what they look like. And Ashes does have um, some, it's like a matte base with glitter. But whenever I put it on my eyes, I used a really fluffy brush and it did not show up at all. All right, now here is Devil, Revolution, Vestment, and Ministry. This is my first time like swatching live, but oh my God. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. These shimmery shades are just absolutely great. And the last four shades is Exodus, Exorcism, Relic, and Stigma. Which, these shades are absolutely beautiful. There we go. This is going to be my first look using the Kat Von D Saint and Center palette. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring you up close and personal. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a mint and I'm going to be putting this from my crease and up just to set my eye primer. And I already do have eye primer on. I didn't mention that. I do have the MAC Paint Pot and the Smashbox Eye Primer on. So I'm just going to be doing that real quick. Just to set that in. The next shade I'm going to be going into is Martyr. And this is going to be like a transition shade. And I'm going to start it out at the inner corner. And then working the way in. And then I'll blend up. Now going into Devil, and this is going to be in my crease a little bit lower down. And I also want to put it on the outer corner of my eye as well. The base that I'm going to use is the Color Tattoo in Barely Branded. I'm just going to tap that on the inner part of my eye. Now I'm going into Relic and this is going all over my eyelids. This is a very pretty shade. Yeah, very beautiful. Now I'm just gonna take the brush that I had before with that devil shade and just blend this out a little bit. Now using a little bit of stigma, this is going into the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm going to bring it into the crease just a little bit, not too much. 
and I'm just keep staying in like the outer part of the crease. I'm not going to go all the way into the crease. Again, taking the brush that I used before to blend, and I'm going to blend some more. I may actually take a little bit more of Devil and just blend these colors together. I'm going to take the brush that I used for Relic and just try to get a little bit of that color back and also try to blend the two colors together. And now for my brows, since there is no true like color to highlight with, I'm going to just go back in with the Amen color and just pop some of that underneath just to lighten up that a little bit. And then I always like going in with that big huge brush and blending those two together. And then I will be back to do the bottom of my eyes after I put on my makeup, so just hold tight. Okay, so I wasn't even recording my bottom lash line look. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just dust it off before I tell you exactly what I put under there. Um, I did take, nope, this brush right here, and I did add a mixture of Martyr and Devil all on the lower lash line, and I stopped right there where you see the yellow gold, and I just blended that out. Then I went in with Stigma on the outer corner, and it wasn't dark enough for me, so I did go in with the black that is called Sabbath, and just, you know, just put it on the outer um, corner there, and I just blended it out with my finger, and then I cleaned this off and took that yellow gold shade, which is Relic, and put it in the inner corner of my under eye. I just took like any kind of pencil brush and went in with resolution and just put that in the inner corner. And it that resolution shade does have um, some glitter in it, but it's fine. I'm not worried about it. And then I'm going to line my lower lash line, yes, with a black eye liner. And I'm using the Laura Geller Eye Care. And then I will go ahead and put on my mascara and then I'll show you my final look. And this is the final look. I think it actually came out really nice if I say so myself. For me not being a makeup artist, I, I think it turned out pretty okay. So yeah, this is the look. All right, now onto the second look. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Amen, like I did the first look, and just put it in the crease and move it all the way up into the brow bone just to set my eye primer. I did use the same primer um, combo that I used in my last look, and that's probably what I'm gonna be using like every time I do like these type of videos, just because I do like that combination really well. Now I'm going in with Ashes, and this is going to be my transition color. Now this to have um, like glitter in it, so I'm using like a really fluffy brush, and hopefully that glitter won't transfer into my eye look. And so far it doesn't look like it is, so that's a really good thing. And I'm just going to be bringing this up a little bit higher than I would do normally for my crease color, just because it is my transition color. And I actually really like this color. If you hear um, footsteps, it is my dogs underneath here. They like to stay where I am at. So they're just here and they're playing right now. So um, I'm sorry about that noise. Now I'm going to go in with Exorcism. And this is going to go into my crease. This is probably going to be like a very colorful eye. I don't know how it's going to turn out because I'm not really good at color, so we'll just we'll just see. And it's quite dark, actually. So we're just going to take the very little bit and we're just going to blend this out. And I may put some like at the on the outer via my lid. I'm going to take my tattoo barely branded again. 
and put this on my lid. I'm now taking Exodus and I'm going to be putting this on the inner two thirds of my eyes. And this shade is actually very beautiful. And then for my outer eye, I'm going to go in with Vestment and just pop that right there. Take an exodus again and then just, you know, tapping it in the center to balloon these colors out some. I'm just doing it very lightly. Because I want some more depth, I'm going to go ahead with the black shade called Sabbath and put that on the outer, outer corner and into the very bit of the outer crease as well. I'm just doing this ever so slightly. All right, and I do have a, some fallout, but it's because I haven't tapped off my brush. If I tapped off my brush, I probably wouldn't have very much fallout. <clears throat> now I'm going to go back in with the purple shade, which is called Exorcism. And I'm just going to blend out my crease again because I do have that black mixed in there. So I'm gonna blend some more out and I wanna have this peeking through just a little bit more. Now going in with the brush that I used for ashes and I'm just blending this out. Going again with Amen as my brow bone highlight. Taking the brush that I used for ashes and just blending that again. And this is the look for right now. And then whenever I come back, I will do the lower lash line. And this time I will record it. So I'll be right back. And now for the lower lash line, I'm going to take Exorcism, which is that purple shade. I'm going to be um, blending that on my lower lash line. And I'll be stopping like right there. And this could be like somewhat of the transition for the lower lash line. Now going in with Bestment, I'm going to be putting that in on the outer half of my eye. Now taking black, which is Sabbath. And that's just going to be putting it on the fourth of the outer eye, lower lash line. Taking my finger, blending it out. I'm going to go in with exorcism and put that on the inner corner of my eye right there. my inner corner I'm gonna be putting a shade that's not in the Saint and Center palette but it is in the Moon Child and I'm gonna be going in with the Lucky Clover and this is from Anastasia and this is gonna be going in my inner corner right there
I'm gonna go in with the Jordana. This is the eyeshadow pencil in Pro Long Purple. I'm gonna put that in my waterline. I may actually put that purple shade to set this and then I will put mascara on and I will come back with the final look. This is the final look. All right, this is my last look using the Satan Center palette. And like always, I'm gonna be going in with Amen just to set my primer. And I'm going to be doing more of a natural look or more of like just the neutral colors this time since the other two were more colorful looks. I'm gonna take Ashes and just put this as my transition shade. Now I'm going to take a mixture of Mater and Devil and use that as my crease shade. Taking the color tattoo in Barely Branded again and just putting this all over my eyelid. And now I'm going to go in with the shade Sacred Heart, and I'm going to be putting that all over my lid. And now I'm taking a little bit of Rapture on my finger and just pressing that on the lid. I don't know how this is going to turn out. It might might not turn out so well just because it is one of those glitter tops. We're gonna try it. Now I'm gonna take some crucifix and put this on the outer corner of my eye and into the outer crease as well. Going with the brush that I use for Martyr and Devil. I'm not going to add no more product right now. I'm just going to be blending this out. And just taking the brush that I use for Sacred Heart just to blend this out just a little bit. And if you hear those bells, it is not nothing Christmassy. It's my mom's cat so she's making a lot of noise doing whatever she's doing now i'm going to take the big fluffy brush if i could find it because yeah this is it right here i'm blind and i'm just going to be blending out all of this and then i will be adding amen to my brow bone again and then blending it out with this amen and sorry for my brows being all bushy and stuff. I mean, I have to get waxed, which I might do it this weekend, but yeah, excuse the brows. And I'm gonna clean this up and I'll be right back to do my lower lash line. I'm gonna take a mixture of Martyr and Devil and just apply it all under my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take Crucifix and add it to the outer half. I forgot to top off my brush so there is some fallout. And lastly I'm going to add that Black Sabbath to the very outer corner of my eye. Just a very little bit just to add some definition right there. Alright, taking my finger. And I'm just going to blend that out. I'm going to take a mixture of the Absolution and Rapture shade, mainly like the Absolution shade, and put that in the inner corner. And that's what it looks like. It's just like a mixture that might be a little bit too dark, but we're just going to see what it looks like. Okay. 
very glittery, but it's all good, I guess. And I'll take this brush and just dust away any of the glitters. Well, it's just getting everywhere. Oh my goodness. Let me go with this brush. Oh, that's just great. I got glitter all over me. Oh well. That's fine. That's fine. Just, I'll be a glitter face today. Alright, I'm going to add on my mascara and my eyeliner. And I'm going to be putting the eyeliner in my waterline. And I'll be right back with the final look. So, again, I am very, very happy with this palette. I absolutely love it. Great quality. And yeah, that's all I have to say right now about this. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, thank you guys. Bye.